Welcome to our tech support video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many developers encounter when working with Firebase storage. Our viewer has run into a problem with the latest SDK version 10.2.6, specifically when trying to download a file. Let's dive into the details and see how we can help. The viewer reports receiving an error message stating, could not open resulting stream when attempting to download a file. This issue seems to have arisen after upgrading from version 10.2.1 to 10.2.6. Let's explore what might be causing this problem and how we can resolve it. Welcome to another tech video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy, like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to that video. The issue you're experiencing with Firebase Storage SDK version 10.2.6 is related to the error message indicating that the resulting stream could not be opened. This is a common problem when there are changes in the SDK that affect how files are downloaded. First, let's examine the code where the download is handled. The method handle download is responsible for initiating the download process. Here we see that it uses a storage listener to get the stream from Firebase Storage. In the getStream method, we retrieve the stream from Firebase Storage using the reference URL. It's important to ensure that the URL is correct and that the file exists in the specified location. To troubleshoot this issue, check the following. Ensure that the file path is valid, verify your Firebase Storage rules, and confirm that the file is accessible. You may also want to log the URL being used to fetch the stream. If the problem persists, consider reverting to the previous SDK version, 10.2.1, where the downloads were successful. This can help confirm if the issue is indeed related to the new SDK version. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To fix the could not open resulting stream error in Firebase Storage, one user modified the access rules. They noted that by default, Firebase requires user authentication but for development purposes, they removed that requirement. And that's it, guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.